because you made it. It is opening night. Of I do have to say some housekeeping things. First of all, this section, this film, is in our headliner section. It's eligible for an audience award. So afterwards, there will be QR code out. Make sure you get your votes in for that. I love it, I love this enthusiasm. Um, also during the Q&A, you can use the engage button in our app to submit any questions that you might have and hope to get answered during the Q&A section. We also want to give, it's the first day of South by, she is fucking crazy. And we want to give a shout out to all of our hardworking staff and volunteers. <laughs> tell you about it except for that it's incredible and amazing and a knockdown fucking drag out and uh, I think you're gonna fucking love it. Uh, yeah, I think you're really, really gonna love it. It's gonna be an unforgettable experience and uh, I think it might be partially due to the person I'm about to bring out to help me introduce the film. Help me welcome. First of all, I want to thank a few people just because that's what you do. Uh, I want to thank Claudette and I want to thank South by Southwest. And we have our Amazon folks here who've been so fantastic. Jen Salky, Courtney Galanti, Julie Rappaport, and Steven Bruno. Thank you all so much. And then we have our cast, which I'm a part of, which I'm so proud to be part of. This incredible family that we all made to make this crazy film. We have Lucas. You want to stand up? Come on, let's stand up. Lucas, where are you? Where, where is he, guys? Okay, there he is. There's Lucas. Okay, we have uh, Lucas. We have Jessica. Jessica, I love Jessica. Daniela, the incredible.
audience. Uh, I think I see an armchair expert. I think, actually, fuck, it's Zach Shepard, the literal biggest fan of Roadhouse in the world. No, look at the shirt. <laughs> I wanted to run as far as I possibly 
Uh, what accent was that? Is that for the millennials avocado toast? Um, okay, so you you filled really huge shoes with Patrick Swayze, but there was a bit of the original Roadhouse, the most important part of the movie, when Patrick Swayze gets out of bed naked, and we follow his gorgeous butt cheeks, and then we actually change lane, lenses, and we go in for a close-up, and then he squeezes them. It's incredible. But even you were too modest. You knew there was a better man from the job. <laughs> Connor, did you know your butt looked that good? Sir? <laughs> You're like, I, can they pull this up? And I think you, you were sensational. <laughs> you're so what about the process? You're used to hard work, but what about the process of making a movie kind of shocked you? Yeah, it's, it's very hard work for sure. All, like, all the characters, and when I saw them come to life on the screen, I thought to myself as I was watching the movie, I'm gonna fuck this up. I'm gonna ruin it, I'm, gonna ruin it. I'm no actor. But you know, what I do know looking at that with the crowd, I have a lot more to give. I feel I have a lot more. So I'm excited about you know, something that I have Let's see what. Hope you all enjoyed the movie. Jay, thank you so much. Post, Doug Lyman. I want to see how Doug Lyman's not on the stage. He should be on the stage. Doug, without you, what don't you get? The vision of the film is everything else. Everything else is everything else. Everything else is everything else. Uh, Daniela, did they have movies like this in Portugal? Yeah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Movies like this in Portugal growing up. So, I got pain in my body, Doc. Not even in real life. I've never seen something like this in Portugal at all. That's why I had to come here to see something like this. How many takes did it take with you pulling the boat up so expertly? Are you a natural boat woman? <laughs> Uh oh, was that CGI? Have I no, no, stumbled no, no. into it? Was, it? It was C uh, no, it wasn't CGI. <laughs> it was me, and it was my my marvelous stunt woman, of course. Uh -huh. I admit that they exist. Come. Well, it's not often you get to play a doctor who's also pro violence and slaps her father. And, like, gets in a fight she has a lot of issues. Daddy issues. She's very like all of us. Uh, Billy, uh, what a great bad guy. Oh my God. So, uh, you know, guys, see what we were doing this the scene, and I was saying, your father, your fucking things up. Your father sent me, and I had the golf club. Yeah, it was the first shot. And I went at him with the golf club, and that wasn't in the scene at all. And he reacted to it. And I, I was like, this guy is the best actor on the planet. Because it was not the scene, it was like, I just turned back and went. I was like, hell, we're, we're acting. Relax, we're acting, I feel like saying. That's what it was, you know. Yeah, you're amazing, bro. No, I just want to say, like, bro. Also, yeah, yeah. My yacht yeah, is nicer, and it's bigger also. That's it. <laughs> Every character in this room here. Yeah. Yeah. We own the roadhouse. We own the UFC for you. Like more yachts than brand. In fact, plot twist. When you are father. <laughs> yeah. Dad. Dad. Thank you, Connor. Thank you. Thank you. No, I have to say, Connor actually showed up. With, it's wonderful to work with people that are excited like him. He really was. He was actually a gentleman the whole time. It was fucking great. Play the villain in this? I don't know, man. You have the hero there. You have Connor. Oh, I'm just floating around in there. How but my right, right. me, I was a little bummed because your physique looked great too. I don't want to leave you yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daniel is the costume lady. Yeah, Daniel was the costume lady. Daniel, the costumes were amazing. The black jocks. I see this here on the at the council. I see myself at the Cannon Film Festival, sideways on the Lambo. You saw me on that thing, yeah? I called you, I don't want you to feel left out. No. 
So thank y'all for putting that around. Okay, and then Lucas, a lot of screams when your name was called. Oh Did everyone see Fargo season five? Oh, An inspiring PGA golfer. What a character. That was the first time I ever hit a golf club. So I really needed to take a lesson from Connor and anybody else in the world. Yeah. Bad. And now you're a fighter, so it's yeah. just growing. Um, what was it like being on set with all of this? It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was the craziest experience of my life. I um, I can't believe I'm a part of it. I totally conned Doug Lyman when he cast me. I went to a facialist and got botched. I had a black eye and I told him I was from a fight. <laughs> Doug, I'm telling you right now that was a lie. But I'm so glad you cast me. Thank you for putting me in this. I have one last question for you, Jay. Who was your favorite uh, movie tough guy growing up? Who were you channeling? Who, did you, who, who was the guy for you? Well, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't if I didn't bring Mr. Swayze back out. Because you know, for me, like as a kid, though it wasn't at first Roadhouse, it was Point Break. Woo! And sub subsequently, my sister took me to see Dirty Dancing like four times. Woo! So even though I mean, he was even a, a tough guy in that. Um, but really, ultimately, I think he he was just packed with charisma, so much so that it's 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 pushed this story all the way even to here. And uh, so I just got to give it up to Patrick, and he was just an amazing. Well, you're the man, Patrick. You had a chance against Conor McGregor. That's impossible, and you did it. So congratulations. 
And then he's not up hey, here. I really like to give one shout out though, and the reason why I look like I could even get it anywhere Cause it's done. is because of, of, of Garrett Warren and, and Steve Brown. Woo! And the incredible, incredible stunt team on this movie. Yeah. And the yeah. this movie. So, absolutely incredible. So shout out to them.